Hi, this is Vicki with My Paper Connection. I'm an independent Stamping Up demonstrator in the United States, and today I'm going to make this really fun card. I'm going to do it in a little bit different color rather than the gorgeous grape. I'm going to use Coastal Cabana, but I just love how this card turned out. It's so fun. I also wanted to tell you that this week the new mini catalog became available. Um, not just available, but you can actually start ordering through it. And there are so many cool things in it. One of my favorites is the flowering fields. I love the tulips, the paper, the stamp sets. Oh, and gosh, look at those sweet little chickadees. They're so precious. This is actually one of my favorites as well. I love the colors and the, the foliage and just so incredibly fun and beautiful. Just lots and lots of pretty things in the catalog. And I would love to get one of these out to you if you are interested and you don't already have a demonstrator. Also, I will send with that one of the celebration catalogs. Now, if you don't know me, or if you do know me, then you know that I love otters and I've already had a blast playing with these. This is a free stamp set that you that you can get when you spend $50 or more. And um, there's lots of things. There's, uh, I don't know, four or five different stamp sets. There's paper, designer series paper. There's just so many fun things that you can get for free. So if you need one of these catalogs and you don't have a demonstrator, let me know and I'll get one out to you straight away. All right, so let's get started. I made this card using my Stamparatus, which happens to be one of my favorite tools. And um, I used the Spiral Die Stamp Set. The way I achieved this look is I used Stamping Right markers. And um, there, it's just so fun, and I'm gonna show you how to do it. So, this is one of the background stamps. It's a very large stamp. And what I like to do is to place my stamp case here and then I like to put my cardstock where it's going to be and I'm going to put it to where it's in the corner right there and then I am going to lay this down on top of it and then I will close the lid like that okay so now I have my positioning for it. So then I'm going to take my different colors. I'm gonna start, I think, with my, I'm gonna flip the colors so that the purple is up at the top and the Coastal Cabana is near the, the bottom. So the way I achieve this look is just by going along with my Stampin' Right markers and just coloring it in. Then I'm going to come in with my, now that was gorgeous grape, I believe. Yes. And this is polished pink. And I'm going to come in and go right in here like this. Then I'm going to come in with Mango Melody. Then I'm gonna come in with my Daffodil Delight. Oh no, I'm sorry, this is so saffron. Then I'm gonna come in with my Granny Apple Green. I'm gonna go back up here and cover some of this because I needed a little bit more green than the yellow. Hopefully it won't come out wonky looking. And then we'll come in with our Coastal Cabana. Okay, then I'm gonna hold this in place and I'm just gonna huff on it. So I'm gonna try not to get my head in the picture. Okay, put that in there again. And then we're just gonna stamp. It's 
ta-da! Isn't that pretty? It turned out so good. I don't even mind that the colors blended because it just kind of did blend it together even more. All right, you're gonna see just how easy this card is to make. So I'm using Thick Whisper White as my card base. Five and a half by eight and a half. This is a piece of Coastal Cabana. It is four by five and a quarter. And then I have my basic white that is three and three quarters by five. And I'm just going to place adhesive on this and glue this onto my Coastal Cabana. Just like this. Okay. Then I'm going to take a piece of ribbon that is, it's actually pool party, but it, it's pretty and it will go with what I'm doing here. And I am going to place it right about in here. Okay. I'm going to trim it off right about here. Place another glue dot on the back of it. And then just bring it across to make sure it's even and stick it in the back like that. Then I'm just going to place some, some more adhesive on the back of this. I'm using Seal Plus just because that's, that's just what I happen to have handy at the moment and it works really, really well. Then I'm gonna stick it right here. I always like to make sure that my corners are matching, my opposing corners, because if they are, then it will fit on your paper evenly. There we go. Okay, now I'm going, going to stamp some sentiments. I'm using Coastal Cabana. And I'm gonna use Happy Birthday to You. I can always use birthday cards. And this label is from the Tasteful Label Dies. While I have my ink out, I'm gonna go ahead and stamp on the inside, wishing you your best year yet. These two stamps are from the Best Year stamp set. This is a great stamp set that has lots of really pretty fonts that are different, and it can go for lots of different things. There's thank you, celebratory, Christmas, um, Father's Day, um, birthday, that sort of thing. It's really a great stamp set. Okay, so then I'm going to place this up on dimensionals. And I'm using mini ones because that's what I have handy. I need to restock my filming station area. <laughs> uh, I let the, the holidays and all of that get catch up on me and got behind on a lot. Alrighty, and I'm just going to stick my sentiment right here, like this. Then I'm going to bring in the pool party ribbon once again. I'm just going to put it up under there, and I'm just going to tie a pretty little knot. And what I like to do is to pull it with one hand on one side. I'm just holding this steady and I'm tugging with the left side. That will give you a nice little knot. I'm going to double knot it so it doesn't come loose. I'm going to do the same thing again. My hands are shaking. I think I must have had too much caffeine this morning. Okay. All right, then I'm just going to trim it off. Nice little angles. I'm going to put a glue dot under here so it doesn't shift. The knot doesn't shift. Then I have some of the holiday rhinestones. I've used these a lot. And it has some pool party colored gems. And I'm just going to place these on the card. And that has my card done. I love it. Which one do you like best? Do you like the Gorgeous Grape or the Coastal Cabana? I think they're both gorgeous. And it's such an easy way to um, make a variety of colors with this tie dye. It's just so pretty. All right, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit a thumbs up. 
You can make comments. I'll answer your questions. Um, if you like the video and you'd like to see more, hit subscribe and ring the bell and you'll get noticed when I have other videos coming out. And again, if you'd like a catalog, just let me know. Thanks. Bye.